What is variable? You use a lot of variable, okay? Uh, many, many of us like to use variable one, wa one, wa two, wa three, wa four, wa five, something like this, and then uh, pass uh, for three days, and then I do not remember what it's about, right? Because you're giving some kind of, of variable name without uh, meaningful, right? Many of us using with uh, right variable name without something meaningful. And then when the, you want to use it again, use that code again, you, just, you don't understand it. What is that kind of variable? So you want to give the, the variable name, it should be meaningful according to the context or environment that you develop. It. For example, you say that person variable, you should be about person, right? Okay, you say about a class, it should be class, not C. Uh, not C1, C2, C3, it should be class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, it's better. Or you do not use a wa, wa one is a short, short name of variable, right? Wa one, wa two, wa three, wa four, wa five, wa ten. And then when you want to debug, when your computer got error, it will make you more difficult situation to debug it, right? This is a thing that you 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 will face, right? Okay, variable. What is variable? Variable are the most important name binding uh, there is, okay? The one between name and value, okay? We want to uh, binding, okay, or store our variable in kind of uh, some kind of name, okay. We want to store something we call variable, okay. A, val a variable associate a name to the memory address where the value is stored, serving a line. Most often, uh, a variable is created using assignment uh, operator, okay. The main thing of a variable is uh, when you create a variable, a variable will, will allocate it, allocate it memory. Okay, in your computer. Okay, we allocate the memory in your computer, whatever kind of variable. It will make reservation memory in your computer and then store some kind of value. Okay, that's why we call binding. You want to store one, okay, and then you create variable one equal to variable equal to one, right? Mean that you want to store one, you create variable one, variable one will allocate it or make reservation memory in your computer. This is we call a variable. Okay. Because um, in, in our memory, also in our brain, also we have variable, okay? A short-term variable. Uh, we have long-term variable also. Uh, when we read reading something, uh, our eye, we read the text or we read the video or with any kind of uh, information and then it will store in our, uh, our, our brain, okay? It will be a short memory first and then when that value, using that this value is uh, very important, you repeat it, repeating, uh, reading, you re repeating, making understanding, and then it will be long-term memory, okay? Long-term memory, because this is a kind of variable also. Even though it will get long-term memory, you still uh, able to lose it also, okay? This is a uh, special uh, memory of the brain of human, okay? We no need to upgrade, okay? Remember, our, our brain, you don't need to upgrade by adding more uh, SSD or hard disk, okay? Don't try to make uh, surgery, okay? To, to add more memory in your, in your head, okay? In your brain. Don't, don't do it. You can practice by uh, another way, okay? Another way, because our memory will become increased uh, by a practical. For example, by reading a lot of book, by practicing uh, eating, eating some kind of healthy food, something like that to protect our brain from dangerous thing. okay? This is, uh, we're talking about variable because uh, remember that a computer, they try to copy and then try to make a computer working as uh, a human, okay, a human. That, that's why they are copying many things uh, from the human, okay? You can say that everything from the human to computer, okay? For example, this one. We use a uh, design, okay, design, okay, design to assign a uh, 3.142, okay, number to this variable, we call pi, okay, okay, this one, we sign this one, we want to sign this value, okay, to this variable, okay, so we use this, this, this sign, okay, this is we call uh, procedure code, okay, procedure code. Um, in the in our normal programming uh, coding, we use this one. Okay, equal. Okay, okay, equal to equal to sign. Right? We have we have written this one. Okay, the most programming language assigned are written this one. Okay, this one we call 
from this value you keep it this value inside this variable okay you keep it 3.1 3.142 in the variable name pi okay that variable is assigned by variable pi okay so this one we call variable to store anything any programming language you can say you have to have variable okay whatever programming language okay that's why you have to learn fundamental first and then when you learn and you understand a lot of uh, about the fundamental you can jump switch the programming language without any what we call any problem okay without any problem because they are uh, creating programming language based on the fundamental okay variable typing okay variable typing there are many types of variable okay for each type they store uh, different uh, different kind of uh, value okay different kind of value for example here we have integer okay variable must have an assigned type okay they must have assigned type okay even though some kind of programming language they are not strong what we call dynamic we say dynamic uh, variable as a php or a python for example you 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 need to to define what type of variable you you want you want to assign you can assign any okay you can assign for example you create variable one you can assign number you can assign string you can assign uh, character you can assign paragraph okay but in strong uh programming uh in strong variable type of programming so you have to define as java or c you have to define the variable variable typing for example you you define as float uh, so you can keep the number that uh, with that dot right one dot blah 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 something one dot one 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 something like this if you keep it uh the the floating or the the decimal point number in integer it will not available that in that, that, that integer okay the what we call that that point point of something okay uh, this way program know how it should interpret okay the zero and one it read in the variable memory block okay if you if you if you assign the the variable typing you you help the programming to identify exactly what type of variable you are storing okay sorry it can reduce you uh, also your performance in terms of uh, interpreting or compiling okay can we uh, can we uh, can we store uh, this value okay can we store this value inside uh, integer or string um if you look at here uh, carefully you will see that we can store this number in any variable type okay but it will represent to us in different form you can store an integer but you cannot store 0.142 right you you can store a string it will display this one as a as a number but it will represent in terms of computer in terms of character or string okay it will not represent as a number so you cannot take string and do do calculation with a string uh what we call variable okay you, it will just display okay for example you say that I, I saw on string 3.142 plus plus 2 for example it will display 3.1 not 5 something okay so this is uh the question is about can we store yes it can be stored but it cannot be represent exactly that uh, what we call according to that we need okay if we want to display we can display uh, this one we are this one also Okay. Uh, we can say this one this one is decimal okay decimal so we have to store on float and we keep the decimal point okay variable scope a uh, context environment global variable namespace as we say uh, to avoid uh, to avoid collision and name binding such as time length speed are not valid over time entire source code okay the main point is variable scope is when you de declare some some kind of variable in uh, in one kind of uh, in one file so you cannot be used to another file and then sometimes you def uh, you define that variable and then it will uh, collision with another another name how can we make sure about that thing to make sure that thing we have to use a global variable global variable that we can define one we can use any okay by using a namespace okay you by using namespace a namespace is uh, some kind of uh, a technique when we define something and then it will be available to use in any file in our project okay in our project and this one we call namespace context and environment uh, 
um, uh, for example, we, we use time, length, speed. This one is uh, we call global variable in many programming language, okay, in many programming language. So when you want to define time, it should, you should not define time because it's reserved by the global variable because it will present time. When you say time, it will be print out the, the represent time, right? If you represent length, it will be length. Speed is also is a global variable. You can create your own global variable as uh, you learn programming. You, you should know how to uh, define a global variable. That you define one, you can be used in many times. Many times, for example, you define pi equal to 3.14, sorry, 314142. Uh, uh, okay, and then you don't want to define it again, you can make it global. Okay, you can make it global and then you can use it all for any alpha. Okay, the variable scope define where it is valid and can be used. Okay, most programming, most language are set up such that uh, variable is only valid within the function where it was defined this is um, this is um, the, the meaning of variable scope uh, because we if we want to defi uh, define variable we have to to make sure that this this variable should be uh, a global or should be local okay it should be look it if you want it be a local you define just only in a file without global if you want to make this variable available for all file you have to make global 